the seventh episode of the Olympic Journey. My name is Thomas Pickler. This is Joshua Jeffress, and we're coming to you from Lowestoft in the UK. Now it's all official today. We've got a table, we've got mugs, we've got Teddy joining us on the table, and we're all professional and ready to go. Now, twelve days to the Olympic Games, Josh. Are you feeling Olympic? Absolutely, mate. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting very excited. Um, can't wait to get into the village uh, on Wednesday and get used to the equipment and uh, and really get into the environment of the whole thing. Yeah, like Josh said, he's heading into the Olympics on Wednesday. I'll be here training by myself on my lonesome. I think I'll survive. Now, we've been here for about 10 days. You've got used to the Olympic equipment that we've been training on. You're over the jet lag. Take us through last week's preparation and what you've been up to. Uh, I had an all round on Wednesday, and then we had a control test on Saturday. Um, so I was really happy with how my routines went on Wednesday and Saturday. Um, the preparation's been going really well. Um, been hitting, been getting my consistency up, and have just been working on my fitness and, and quality as well, um, so I can go out there and uh, try and get the best score possible. Yeah, like you said, we had a control test on Saturday. We went through a mock competition the same time as what it'll be in London in two weeks' time. I guess we started on the same apparatus, all around warm up, one touch and show. And like you said, you hit six from six, and he's looking good. That's all I can say. Now. You're not the only one preparing for the Olympic Games. I guess uh, I, I'm not up to the standards of your training <laughs> training schedule. You found a new training partner behind my back. <laughs> Is it a bit of a secret weapon or what's going on? Tell us about that. No, he's a uh, good old super teddy, mate. He's an addition to the team. Um, he, uh, he comes in and helps us out and uh, he's trying to improve his training as well. I think he's vying for a spot at the Rio. Um, so he, he comes in and he helps us hold the chalk bucket and uh, has a couple of goes himself and gives us a bit of advice. He's pretty, uh, pretty, um, pretty confident, old, old Super Teddy. So. Yeah, a couple so, of photos of him there doing yeah. his stuff. He got on the apparatus, wasn't scared of anything. All right, so I'll have to yeah, thank, thank Milena for, for sending him over. Yeah, a bit of a good luck present, so I hope that helps. Now, he hasn't been the only one in the gym this week. We've had uh, plenty of school groups coming through the gym and watching our training, giving us plenty of support. I guess, has that boosted your confidence ahead of the games? Yeah, it's been really great, mate. It's been overwhelming to um, get all those school groups in and watch us train morning and night. Um, they've been really, really into it and uh, they've been applauding us through training. And uh, it's, yeah, it's really great to see and their, their enthusiasm and uh, encouragement um, with gymnastics is, is great. And um, yeah, we really appreciate the community getting together and supporting us. Yeah, and I guess we had a bit of another a community event this week. Uh, we had a gala dinner that the Waveney Gym Club uh, organised for us. Uh, it was also for the Olympic torchbearers from the local area, and it was a great night with pe plenty of uh, of the community coming out to, to support us. And I guess how how did you uh, how did you enjoy the night, and what was your highlight? Yeah, it was a great reception, mate. The, the amount of yeah, as I was saying before, the amount of support and and they've been given us has it's been overwhelming, and it was such a great night, and we. Had, we cut some shapes on the dance floor and uh, cut some shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of local lingo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it was really good. John Paulsey and, and Chloe did a great job organising it. And we met the, uh, we saw the MP there and, and the mayor as well. So that was that was really great to see. Yeah, a bit of a black tie event, and we got our, got our suits on and got dressed up. A couple of photos, as you can see. Also, thanks to Adam who's uh, put on the spread there. The food was awesome. I guess now we're moving on to a, to a bit of fun. We get asked quite a lot what we do in our spare time during the day. Uh, as you know, we probably sleep a fair bit. Uh, not together, we have our own rooms here, so we, we take our own, <laughs> own quarters. And Josh likes to snore a bit, so I'm definitely in the other room when that comes to it. Um, uh, I guess we have a bit of a behind-the-scenes footage today of us killing time. We've got a, got a bit of a funny clip with John while he's driving us to him from training. Here you go. There you go, unfortunately you can't hear John belting out the tunes, but he was singing. What was his favourite song and his favourite line? Chugga-lugga, chugga-lugga. The old Courage Brothers, the old chugga-lugga. Oh, we were laughing our heads off in the back seat, that's for sure. Anyway, I was getting, uh, getting excited after that clip. We also got a clip of John and Sergey when they discovered a bit of new technology on the iPad. It was pretty funny to see them getting on that. Here it is. <laughs> too much face. Too much face. Too much face. Gives look at that. Look at that. I want about you. 
I, 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 not, not less fun, you'll be looking at me. <laughs> no, that's me. You? That's without the program. <laughs> that's just a normal photo. <laughs> That's Ellie. <laughs> well, good times there. I guess there's a couple of fun photos of Sergey and John there. They're, I don't know if Sergey looked better before or after that photo was taken. <laughs> now, we do have to fend for ourselves while we're here. We have to do our own washing, own cleaning up, ironing and things like that. I've got a bit of a clip of Josh ironing here, and uh, this is his second shirt that he ironed because the first one didn't end up too well. Here you go. Fucking technology, eh? <laughs> Where's the go button? I've got no idea like where's it oh there's the arrow there. <laughs> Irons are like females. You, you never know which buttons to push. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, I want this or cotton. Cotton I reckon. Yeah. That's my guess. That'll do. There's hardly any wrinkles on that shirt at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> there's a bigger groove in there than the freaking Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh Jesus. Do you have to jump minutes. to get that in? It's going to take 20 minutes. <laughs> it's going to take 20 minutes. More than I put another one in. <laughs> Beautiful stuff there, Joshy. I'm not going to let him near any of my clothes, that's for sure. <laughs> that's why they call me Iron Man, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> First time for everything. Yeah, exactly. Now, Josh also got a bit of a haircut this week, so you gave him a touch up with the lawn mower. It looks pretty good. <laughs> you got some side and lost a bet, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, Sergey always likes to say, what's the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? Two weeks. Two Lucky weeks. Two weeks. Got two weeks until the competition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed those clips. A bit of fun stuff. Now, we're going to move on to viewer questions, as we always do. We're going to start off with Dan from Suffolk, which is around here. If you could have any power, what would it be, Josh? I'd say it would be flying. Flying? Yeah, yeah to, uh, it, well, it'll help your gymnastics. Yeah, that's for sure. And uh, if you're in a sticky situation, you can fly out of there pretty quickly. Yeah, and, bad uh, date or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Get on skate. Or uh, reading people's minds, I think that would be pretty cool. That would probably help on a date. It would yeah. definitely help on a date. Yeah, yeah good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now moving on. So, Brooke from Victoria, are you feeling nervous for the games? Yeah, I am feeling nervous, actually. Um, but, um, it's you know, you always have butterflies as long as they're flying in formation. It's all good. Um, so I'm going to try and, uh, it's normal to be nervous and uh, I'm going to try and use that as energy and, um, you know, really try and use my training and, and um, confidence to try and get me through the comps. Yeah, now this one's from Jess from Suffolk, which is here again. If you could go to the Olympics as a superhero, who would it be and why? I'd say I'd go as Spider-Man. Um, because I've already got that outfit down pat. <laughs> You've also got a hoop a hoop outfit. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, they're not superheroes. <laughs> you got paid well for that, man. Yeah, the royalties good. are probably still coming in. <laughs> now, on that note, uh, Tamsin and Megan from Suffolk have got a question. How tall are you, Josh? Um, I'm going to say extremely. Extremely tall. <laughs> <strong. laughs> that's a measurement, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, a measurement. Latin? That's the metric Latin. system. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, what's that? Oh, about two metres. Two metres, yeah, give it take rough, half a metre. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> just a bit of leeway either way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, finally we've got Jackie. Uh, can you show us your best splits, Josh? My best splits. Alright, I'll show you my best splits. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Josh never surprises me there you with go. these bad jokes. What's my best splits? Best splits, the banana, banana split. split. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Never lets me down with bad jokes, that's for sure. Now, Joshy, on a serious note, you are heading into the village on Wednesday. It's full steam ahead. You've got 10 days of serious training and then obviously the competition at the end. We'll all be supporting you. Unfortunately, we're not 100% sure if we can do the videos next week as Josh will be in London, I'll be here, and the media block out might be a bit of a difficulty, but we'll see what we can do to keep you updated on, on Josh's progression before the games. Now, Josh, thanks for being with us. This is the last time we'll be together. I hope you've enjoyed our series so far and hopefully we can keep it going next week. It's been a pleasure having you with us today and I hope you had a bit of fun. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, mate. Cheers, mate.
Coffee tastes different in TV land. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real coffee. Mmm, can't believe it's not coffee. And then uh, we had a control test on Saturday um, at the same time uh, that my competition will be. So I'm um, basically doing a mock comp on Saturday. And um, yeah, no, it's, it's been... <laughs> I'm Thomas Pickler, this is Joshua Jeffers. <laughs>